I'm hungry for it, man. You know I gotta get it. I hit the ground running. You know I gotta get it. I see that money coming. You know I gotta get it. I gotta get it, gotta get it. Yeah, I gotta get it. Whatever's necessary. You know I gotta get it. Bullshit is secondary. You know I gotta get it. They say we legendary. You know I gotta get it. What's up, what's up? It's your homeboy, Maul the Pimp, a.k.a. MTP, and welcome to another edition of the Pimp Holler TV podcast. And this is a real special edition of the podcast right here, because you know why? You know what we do? We support up-and-coming black businesses right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We broadcasting live from 2001 East 3rd Street. That's Exclusive Fashions Clothing Store. Let me say that again one more time. We broadcasting live from Exclusive Fashions Clothing Store. That's 2001 East 3rd Street. You need to get here. You follow what I'm saying? And my special guest for the day is the founder, the owner of the company, my guy, Quan. What's going on, What's man? What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Man, we cooling, bro. So, man, listen, bro. Happy to have you here, dog. You man, feel me? Happy I'm, to have you here, I'm man. Happy, happy to thank you for even thinking about this. I know, like what I see, bro. Supporting. I like what I see. You feel me? So, uh, let me ask you this. Let me say this first. Uh, November 13th, this year, a week ago, man, that's your one-year anniversary. Yeah. So you've been up and running at Exclusive Fashions for one year, man. So, I mean, how, how you feeling about that, bro? Man, it's, it really, it, first of all, it went fast. That's, that's how I feel. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, it's just so much that's been, that has went on. It's been a teachable moment, you know what I mean? Right, it's right, just right. like, because I'm not used to being in a brick and mortar. I've been, been out. You know, setting up on the corner. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Doing things out of my out of my trunk of my car, out of my van, pop, popping up, doing pop up shots on the corner. Right, you know, right. and so like now it's a whole different thing when you got you know added bills, you got you know you got employees that's that's you know that's counting on you. Speak on that, you know? right? Yeah. And so and I, you know, it's just it's just a thing that has been a lesson learned, but it's been a great great lesson learned. It's it's actually been wonderful to me. You know, it's just it's nothing like. Knowing that you have something special that you you come back to your own neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, uh -huh. that you grew up in, and you give something back to the community where they can have decent uh, clothes. Right, right. I got to give a shout out to my sponsor, the Chattanooga Cigar Club. Again, the Chattanooga Cigar Club. Let me tell you all about the Chattanooga Cigar Club. The Chattanooga Cigar Club is Chattanooga's premier cigar and hookah lounge. Open Thursday through Sunday with latest free on Friday and live music up until 10 o'clock. Keep in mind, you can also rent the building for your own events from Sunday through Wednesday. Shout out to my guys, D. Scott and Kurt at the Chattanooga Cigar Club. For more information, log on to ChattanoogaCigarClub.com. Again, salute to my sponsor, the Chattanooga Cigar Club. Much love. Yeah. And let me say how he just said, like, uh, like again, let me translate. He was in the clothing business, but to the rap game, like, once a rapper gets a record deal, right, or becomes what he wasn't, the first thing people can say is, man, I remember you was hustling CDs out the trunk. Yeah. I remember you was coming to the club, putting your flyers on the car. I remember you was approaching the DJ, asking him to pay your, uh, play your shit or whatever. You follow yeah. what I'm saying? So with that being said, right, I remember before this store, this dude was selling glasses out of his car. Yeah. I bought a few of them. You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Right or wrong? Am I yeah, lying? Yeah, right or yeah, wrong? You support me from there. Right or wrong, bro. So for me to know years ago, he was selling glasses out of his car, and then to hear that, man, he got his own store, I'm thinking to myself, like, I watched this dude grind it out. I didn't see his every move, but I remember before this store was even, you know, was even, was even in the in, in the work. You follow what I'm saying? So to know that you came from hustling glasses out the car. Yeah. I met you one time at the gas station on Shelf Road yeah. and got some Dos and Cabana glasses. Somebody stole them in my Wash the Money Fly video shoot, but that's cool though. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Out of town that time. You yeah. did. Yeah. Then I came and got some, some bought some Gucci glasses from me. my point is though, bro, you started out. You didn't you want you didn't start out here. Nah. You feel me? You started out on the ground. You crawled to get here. You follow what I'm saying? So uh, my first question is this, bro. You in the clothing store? You started out selling glasses. When did you? When? What? What was the turning point that made you say, you know what, bro? I want to get my own store. For one, I want to get my own store, and then I want to start doing clothes. Why? Cause I, I would, I would assume you can get a store and start selling a bunch of glasses. Cause that's why, that's why I met you doing. You follow yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> you feel me? So, one, one of the turning points uh, come to say, you know what, man? I'm tired of hustling out the car. I want to get a store. When did you start even thinking like that? Cause I want to build up to when you finally did it. When did you start thinking like that? Oh um, man, it was just like um, it's one of those things that I, you know, it's, it, it, 
you want more, you got to do do more. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. it was like one of the things, like I started out with, with glasses. I ended up adding hats, belts, and pocketbooks and right. things of that nature. Right. And then I went with the warm-up suits and things. Okay. So all, all this is out of the car? All this out of the car, right. my trunk. You know, I set up on the corner. Right. I did house calls. I did it all. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So if you call right now being like, hey, uh, you know, I've been on post everything. Man, I, I need so, so, and so, and so. I need... Uh, three, four jogging suits. I need such, such glasses. How much they is? What, well, can you bring them to me? Boom. I'm pulling up at your house. Right. I'm pulling up at your at your workplace. You know, of course, I pulled up at you at the gas station. Right, right, right. You know, right. I'm finna go out of town. I need you right now. Right, I got right. these shades I need. So, it, but that being said, it was like I had so many people coming to me and was like, well, man, I would just keep doing what I'm doing and just work a nine to five. You, you know, but I, my vision is bigger than that. It wasn't just about me working a nine to five because sometimes, the nine to five job can pay you so much money that guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna help you forget about your dream. Yeah, yeah. Because right. the same energy yeah, that I'm yeah. giving it to my my employment where I'm working at, guess what? That same amount of energy I can give it to myself. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, if you can make them thousands of dollars or millions of dollars, why not put into your own self? And we got to understand that, you know, everything that you do is a risk. So of course, yeah. how would you know if you can make it if you didn't necessarily give yourself a chance? You don't jump out there. Come on. Right, right, There's right, so right. many people dead in jail or dead and dead right now or in jail because they didn't think they didn't think that they can make it. You know right, what I mean? Right. And then when they you know, especially with the, with people being in gray yard, there's so many people in gray yard right now, they got so many brilliant ideas, millions and it right. can be a million now, a billion now, a tree now. But guess what? They were so they let they 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 fear. And sometimes our fear is our biggest thing that it's causes us not to even right. move forward. Right. Because right. it's one of those things, like, if it weren't for, I feel like I took on the, like, the Bible verse with Rebecca 2 and 2. He said, write your vision down and write a plane. And write a plane to enough where someone else can understand what, what, you, what your vision is. Right. So I, I started writing things down, dude. I can show you right now what I wrote down. Like I was gonna get my van. I wrote down that I was gonna get a store. All this stuff written down with the date and everything on it. And guess what? God manifests this thing less than a year later, each, each, each and every time. So the power of God, it really works. You know what I mean? I'm and a that's, and we that. just have to, we just have to tie into it. Right, right. Just no matter what your your circumstances, it ain't where you start. It's where you're gonna end. Right, right. You know, so God just been, He's been in my head, man. Like if it wasn't Him, man, because. I even had, you know, my own parents who felt like they were so scared thinking that, well, you you doing this mobile thing, man. It's, they robbing, they doing this, doing that. Guess what? If I had lived off fear, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. What's up? What's up? I got to give a special shout out to my sponsor, the AM Group LLC. Let me tell you all about the AM Group LLC. The AM Group LLC is an independent distribution company that offers essential services such as internet, home security, energy, identity protection, wireless, and more. Secure your homes and businesses. Get a free consultation from my homegirl, Miss Nori Nori. Email the M Group LLC at gmail.com to schedule your appointment. You can also visit www.isnorinori.com. Click the services tab to check out all the deals that they offer. Salute to my sponsor, the M Group LLC. Much love. Y'all go check them out. Yeah. True story. True story. True Gotta story. Put it in God's hands. True story. No matter what it is. So this 2022, this is your one year anniversary. Yeah. I heard you say when you once you start putting it into play, a year later, God blessed you. Yeah. So 2020 is when you first start thinking like I needed a store. No, I actually thought even longer than that because I've been with uh I, I took well basically what I tell you where exclusive came from. Exclusive came Give from it. my R&B group where that we was in. It was still still. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. CJ the King. Yeah, CJ, yeah, that's all I remember. CJ. Shouts out to CJ the King. Yeah, right. Shouts out to to um you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my to my little brother, you know what I'm saying? And um it just, you know what I'm saying, it just a little Asian man, it just it's, it it was Asian from New Beginning. Yeah, Asian from New Beginning. Salute Asian. So, man. you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. And uh this and man CJ, you know, we had talked about doing taking doing a clothing thing and then it right. just some some unfortunate things that had came right. up on his side. Right. So, you know what I'm saying, he he would be in this with me now. Right, right. So not only did I have an exclusive fashion at the store, I have exclusive gear. Okay. So, you know, that's when I was like, man, I'm trying to take exclusive to a whole nother level. We not, 
we haven't been doing our music thing, so I'm like, look, I want to keep exclusive alive. Right, right. You know, so I came up with the name when we when we when they, we was asking, brainstorming about names. I came up with exclusive, okay. and so okay. that's why I was like, man, I want to continue to take it on, and. You know what I'm saying? I want my bros, you know what I'm saying? They even like now, you know, even though me doing this, like I'm welcoming. I talked to Asia not too long ago, like, look at this something that you want to do to step into the clothing part of it. Okay. You know, let's okay. let's let's eat together. Cause teamwork made the dream work. So that's where I'm at with this with this thing. So um, I, I I just have a vision that I the exclusive is gonna be global. Not only just in music, it can be in you know with clothes because I love fashion. I, I work. I'm that's. That's how you see, you know what it is. I, I, I know exactly what it is, bro. I got I got gear on, whether it's dress clothes or whatever. I know exactly what it is. You know, so it's just one of those things that it's easy to me. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right. So that's why you gotta look at too when God saying in, in in His Word is like. It ain't that school, not knocking school, but that ain't what's going, you know, that's going to make you, you know, a millionaire. This and that. It's your, it's, it's, it's the passion. It's, it's not the passion. It's your, it's, it's whatever that you make that's, that's easy for you to do. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm a person I can sing real good, guess what? If I do what I'm supposed to do, that my singing take me to a whole nother level. If I can sell clothes, Guess what? It can take me to a whole nother level. It's, it, everything has a level to its thing, so you got to start from somewhere. So let me ask you this. Okay, so, uh, and this for all the uh, unbecoming entrepreneurs. Say, if, for instance, if you want to follow his his lead and, and try to open your clothing store. So give us the, in a nutshell, the play-by-play. -play. So once you say, okay, you know what? Uh, I've been doing this at the trunk for a while. Now I want to open a store. What are the steps you took to get here? Like give us those. Like I had to make this call. I had to figure out this. I had to look at this building. Like, uh, like give us give us a play by play from uh, I'm going from the street to open a building. Yeah. Give give us give us that give us that layout. So it's it's pretty much at the end. Like I don't know a lot of people don't know. I started out with ten Bluetooth headphone sets. When I started out with ten Bluetooth headphone sets, I started adding different things onto it. And then you know, like I said, I went to the corner. I was doing this and that, and I was just like. One day I was just like, man, I just wanted to be more than just sitting on the corner, right. more than just working a nine to five and and just supplying people here and there. So right. what I ended up doing, I was just like, man, I'm gonna start looking for a building. So like I said, first of all, I wrote it out. I draw a, a building, draw it out, put you draw your own building out, put it on, put exclusive right. on the top of it, the headline of it, right. uh, write my date on it. So guess what? And I took a picture of it and everything. So I want to let everybody know that at the end of the day, like. I really had, I already had this in, in progress, you know what I mean? So not on that, but we just, it's just, God say manifest. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be a manifest, you know what I'm saying? Be able to manifest our vision. And guess what? Once you, you lead to God, he gonna take everything to the next level. So I, I looked at a building, I looked at several buildings. Then I came to this building one, I came, matter of fact, it was at nighttime, I came here. Okay. I looked in, cause when you looked online, you didn't, it didn't look like Hold it. Hold on, the building we say here, again, that's 2001 East Third Street, yeah. exclusive fashion. Yes. Go ahead. And so, with that being said, I was I looked around the building. I was like, man, I I didn't think nothing of, of it when it was online because it was the pictures inside were blurred, so I couldn't tell what was going on. Right. So when I actually looked inside of it, I looked to the back, looked around. I said, this this building had potential, right. you know. So and that's what got me to uh, to this point. It's just like, man, God God gave me that vision. Then like this is it right here. So when I came in, get what I did. I ain't pay up, pay many people to go do nothing because I painted stuff anyway. I came in and painted my own building. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I paid a guy to put my cameras in. Then while I was so overwhelmed with trying to come in and put uh, put all my, my, my gear and stuff in here, I turned around. I was like, dang, since you're here putting the cameras up, 
I want you, why you got to help? Go ahead and put my my, uh, my 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 boys up, you know, okay. so I can be able to hang my clothes. So we we took care of that. We came up with agreement, and uh, then I had a couple of guys come in. Uh, Tay, shouts out to Tay from uh, from the West Side, Tay West. You know, I appreciate you, and you know, he came in and did my DJing and everything for my uh, for my grand opening. Okay. That was his blessing to me, you right, know. Right, so right, he wanted right. to see me win. So that's that's the type of stuff that I'm seeing. And I shout out to. Uh, uh, Harold Fletcher, uh, Arthur Noel, uh, AJ, my yeah, guy, AJ, 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 yeah. AJ. So you know what I'm saying, um, and other other people that came in, my, my family, you know what I'm saying. Uh, they came in and they all helped out in some type of way to make sure that it went smooth and went went the way that that I envisioned. Right, right, right. All right, so uh, you got your building now. We're gonna fast forward. You got your building. Now this is what I want a lot of people to hear right here. You got your building, you got your clothes in here, you feel me? So speak on if, if, as much info as you want to give. How long do it take? Because the one thing to have a store, you got the store, you can say, for bragging purposes, yeah. I got a store, man, yeah, come out of my store. But how long do it take, how long did it take you before you actually start seeing profit? Like, okay, I'm making enough money to pay my rent and I'm putting something in my pocket because yeah. they don't happen the first month or two. No, nah, it ain't. Really so how long did it take for you to start seeing profit? You feel uh, me? I say, I say, it's it's, it's it really just depending on your hustle and depending on like like again when we was talking about the marketing thing. Because right. I ain't gonna tell a lie, some stuff I just didn't. I was like, man, do I want to spend all this money in marketing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now understanding that that is what you need. You need yeah. to yeah. put money into marketing because that's it's still people right now. Even with me being here a year, I was here Friday by myself, and guys were still coming like, I didn't even know they was here. Right. But right. so that made me know that like, look, I need to market more. Right. So it, can, it, it really just depends because yeah. I, I ain't even to say that I. Yeah, I've been, you know what I'm saying, getting a profit because right now, well, my main focus has been right now just making sure I have the, the right clothes in here to satisfy my customer. When you come into exclusive, I want you to have exclusive experience. Right. Not just be, oh, well, I'll dry this. Now. Welcome to exclusive. Thank you for shopping when you leave. Have a blessed day. Now, you know, I wanted to make sure that it's clean in here, it's smelling good, everything is neat and proper. And I'm going to give you a vision with clothes against the wall uh, on the mannequin or whatever to let you know, what, oh, this is what this look like. So it just really just depends because, you know, I don't, I, I can't say because I haven't been paying myself. I just been uh, putting my money go. back into I the building. And yeah. I want to make sure that, guess what, my guys like Kobe and, you know what I'm saying, I have uh, my guy William Elston, shouts out to him. He's one of the chat towns that's uh, guys that's out here doing his thing uh, with the movie thing. And, like, when he been on his downtime, when I when I really needed somebody, he he showed up. You know what I'm saying? He was the guy that was working for me while I was still working a 9 to 5. And, actually, I'm still working a 9 to 5. <laughs> right, but, so, you know, but you're doing it. But this yeah, is part of it. This is my baby, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So with that said, then I got Kobe. Like I said, I got Kobe. Then um, Ed, you know what I'm saying? He comes That's my guy, Ed. Thing. Shout out to my guy. That's my guy, Ed. Yeah. Shout out to Ed. Yeah. yeah, so I appreciate, you know, him coming in as uh, as a manager and, and uh, making sure that everything runs right. smooth. Right. Let me, let me ask you this, bro. When it comes to, and you can, you can educate me on this. When it comes to the clothing, like, okay, I'm on the outside looking in. You got different clothing stores here in the city. Are we speaking in whatever city? There's always going to be multiple clothing stores. Yeah. Uh, if I'm going around looking for shit to buy, why should I come here? What can I say exclusive got that they don't got, or she don't got, or he don't got? You follow what I'm saying? Because everybody is trying to promote urban clothing work. Yeah. You follow what I'm yeah. saying? So, like, uh, what do you do to go the extra mile to say before you go to, clo if it's three clothing stores, before you go to store two and three, come to this number one first? Oh, yeah. You follow what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what, what? What's the it that you bring to the to the table to make you say, you know what, come here first before you go there? I just feel that uh, it's just that I, I, I try to bring something a little bit different. And, and of course, like, it's kind of hard because, you know, we all kind of have somewhat similar stuff. Right, right. But I still try to bring some type of exclusive, you know what I'm saying, gear, whether it's a hat, whether it's glasses, whether it's belt, whether it's, uh, you know, jumpsuits and things of that nature. So, um it's kind of it's kind of hard, but I I put it like this: I want you to I value your 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 customer customer coming to me because at right. the end of the day, it's nothing like customer service. So that's what make me right. set aside right. from any, anyone else. I don't I'm not allowing you just walk in my door and you just saying, well, oh well, you walk in and you just looking around, get what I'm I'm greeting you. Hey, welcome exclusive. 
or, you know, how can I help you? I'm letting you know what deals we got on, what sales we got on, what, oh, if I know that, you know, you plus size, or you big and tall, or, well, when clothes here, right. and so and so, that's how I operate. And then right. I want you to come into a clean establishment, right. not just coming into, oh, well, I just put some clothes in here and, and, and say you got a shop, because guess what? I'm nothing without my customer. Right, right, so, right, and exactly. You have to, I exactly. don't care what, it's so many people that's in business, yeah, they say they're a business person, but they, they customer service. Suck, right, right? And that's right, where I right. want to step. But that's where my right. it ain't about the clothes because you get clothes anywhere. But right. when you come exactly. in my place, I want right. you to be welcome and right. want you to leave here with a great heart. Like man, dude, he really showed me a a, 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 a different type of vibe. You know, because you know how when you don't went in, in different clothes stores and you walk in and you looking for something and nobody never come up to right. You've been there 10, 15 need. minutes and nobody said nothing to you. Nothing. Right, right, right. Because guess what? You we need you. You don't need us. Exactly. You exactly. know, so. I can leave. I didn't go to another store. Come on. It's, it's, it's plenty yeah. more clothes stores besides me. Right. So, right. therefore, you got to come to something that's going to take you, make the, to set you apart from the other clothes stores that's in the city of Chattanooga. All right. Wherever you at. Right. So, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a chance to promote your shit right here. <laughs> so, if I'm, a, if I'm a female, right? Because females love to spend money on clothes and yeah. they love to get sexy and cute. You know what I'm saying? They got different events coming up that they want to just step out for. If I'm a female, right, uh, what's going on right now? This is this, this pretty much the winter. What kind of winter clothes you got? Uh, 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 even some sales is coming off the summer that, you know, females come get this shit. What, what, if a female looking at this, man, what does she know that she need to come here and get that she probably didn't know that was down here? You feel me? Well, I have, I have um, different lady jackets. Um, I have not only just the lady jackets, I have um, just dresses, um, something that you just want to throw on, some uh, some track suits, uh, the sweater, um, lady jumpsuits. Um, I got a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? Right, right. So, therefore, like, even with that, like, even though summer's over, but people still like buying out of season. Right. I still have had price off, off men's short sets and um, a women's uh, summer gear as well. So, even with Black Friday coming up, you know, so I you got wanna, some sales for Black Friday. Yeah, I got Black, Black, let, let Black know Friday. Let for Black Friday, bro. So I got Black Friday sales coming up. I'm doing uh, like um, buy uh, one hat for 25 or buy two for 35. Or if you buy one hat for 35, which is designer hats, if they are 30, you know what I'm saying? You can get two for tw two for 50. And then you got um, I got the uh, Walmart suits. They'll be going for uh, 65 for that for the Black Friday. Edition. What would they normally be going for for one Black Friday? They, they'd be eighty dollars for for okay, a so Walmart suit. Discount you know? on that. So okay. yeah, so I try to give you a discount on on different things. And then uh, not on that, but it, I, it's crazy because I have had times and and I ain't never known no store in Chattanooga to do this. I have made the whole entire store 20 percent off. The whole store, not I, just certain shit. The yeah, whole the, store. The whole entire store has been twenty percent off, and I've never seen it. All right. You know, so but I'm just like again, I'm doing something exclusive way. I want to be different. I want to be set apart. That word, that word is a motherfucker. Yeah, I want to be set apart from what's going on around right. here. So not only, that, like I said, not only that I got exclusive fashion, I got exclusive gear. So come in and get your exclusive gear for the women and men. Let them know also, because I heard through word of mouth that you got exclusive discounts for college students. You feel yes. me? We got UTC people looking in. Yeah. So if you go to UTC, University of Tennessee, Chattanooga, what do they get and how do they get that, bro? How do they get their discounts? Let them know. And not only that, it ain't even got to be that. It's any college. I don't care if you came in and visited from out of town. Okay. You can be the community college, Ch uh, Chattanooga State. I want to be able to bless you guys because you always, you already is working hard trying to, you know, get your books books in, and you guys are always trying to look for a deal not on that because y'all already, you know what I'm saying. Some people is right. is, is eating ramen noodles right now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna be honest with you because they they trying to make it right now. They know the the grind. That's that's the struggle. Right. You know what I'm saying. So I don't. I, I'm giving twenty percent off any student. That's you got your valid ID. That's a college student because I know y'all got it, got it hard at times. I'm giving twenty percent off on items that are that is not on sale. Now, say for instance, I have some sales like now. I got some jeans in here and some certain other items that are thirty percent off. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you take advantage of a thirty percent sale versus just letting me give you twenty percent? You're gonna save more with thirty percent versus me giving you 
the 20 percent sale so that's why I, I broke it down like that but i'm looking out for my college students you know right. what i'm saying and not to knock any other business and whatever but i got utc right down the street so y'all got you guys can come here before you even head to the mall right 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 UTC students, get your ass to 2001 <laughs> Exclusive Fashions, yep. East Third Street. Yes. 2001 East Third Street Exclusive Fashions. So now, let me let me let me ask you this, bro. I want I, I like to paint the picture of the grind and the struggle in the hard times. Uh, give us some of the bumps in the road that you went through coming up to getting this building, because it's not like you call the day and the building comes through tomorrow. You follow what I'm saying? So give us give us that struggle shit, because people need to hear that. You follow what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm okay. I, I'm I'm trying to get off the street. I'm trying to get a building. What was some of the bullshit you went to before the, before it got cool? Uh, um, it was uh, it's man, dude. It's first of all, it's just even finding the building, right? Yeah, you know, and then find a building that's in the, in the right location that you think that's gonna you know work for you. Um, Cause you got to think about a lot of things with, with clothes. You got to think about the safety. You got to think about the the, wow. the actual location because you got a location that that they can break in your in your place and and. You don't want to, I put it like this, when I get, when you have a clothing store, you really don't want to be with nowhere where it's going to have an empty building that's very next, that's next door. Okay, I get that. that makes because sense. you know why? Because at the end of the day, they can break in that building next door. They can bust through your wall and take all your clothes and run out that way. Small so you got to think about a uh, uh, 360 thing, you know, so like I said, finding the building, uh, you have to, of course, make sure you got your funds right. You know, you got to make sure that's your credit, right? right? You know, so then on that, but when you come into a building, guess what a lot of these, pe these people doing? Before you even get your, your key, you need to have your insurance. Right. You got to have, of course, the money. Right. Of course, the credit. And then, not on that, but you have to know, you have to uh, um, pretty much have... Uh, just pretty much have all your ducks in a row, knowing how you how you gonna operate. You know, even before you even come in, you need to already have a vision, like how I'm gonna do this thing. Like, okay, well, how's this gonna be feasible for me to to even make money? Right, right. right. You know, so right. therefore you gotta keep. You got a lot of people that's gonna hate on you. Of course, of course, this Chattanooga, bro. You got a of lot course. of people that's gonna, you know, that's gonna be like, man, I, I don't, I, you shouldn't got no building. But they don't know the greatness of a building, man. Cause get what? They don't know what I had to do. Like I'm literally driving around in a big 15 passenger commercial van, and I have to keep. If I pull up on the corner and I set up, I gotta pull everything out every single day. Right. I got weather issues I gotta deal with with the wind blowing, my tent right. flying. Right. I got rain. I got cold. I got a, a lot of things that I have to deal with. Right. So now I can put everything in one place. All I gotta do is open up and close every day. Let me ask you this. With that being said, as far as on a, uh, I'm just I'm just playing devil's advocate right mm -hmm. now. As far as financially, do you, do you ever sometimes help and say, you know what, bro? When I was when I was pulling up in the cold mm -hmm. or pulling up here and there, I ain't had no monthly rent, so everything was straight profit. As yeah. opposed to saying, when I make this, this got to go to the rent. So whatever I got left, that's either profit or I'm breaking even. Yeah. You don't do you ever sit back and say, you know what? I probably be making more money without this building. Do you has, has, has it ever been a thought? And not saying that, not trying to turn you away from what you're doing. I'm just saying I'm just trying to play both sides yeah. of it because this this the this the benefit of having a building right yeah. here. You got a, a location, yeah. but sometimes you sit up and say, "Well, I have to build it. Like whatever my monthly fee is here. If I want if I didn't have this, this would be straight profit." Do you ever sit back and think like that? Do you say, "No, nah, man, fuck that shit. I rather this building just roll with what it is." Uh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I haven't thought about that. I don't okay. think I have because really. I guess when you start thinking that way is is like you got a if you got a high mortgage and things of that nature it's a difference you know what I'm saying right. so but I ain't gonna tell a lie I'm I'm enjoying that you know with what I have going on you okay, know what I mean cool, so cool, cool, like yeah. I said it's just, it's nothing like I got to keep on pulling anything out no no but guess what I get to put everything on display everything that I have and, and stop. Right. See, when I was in the van, you you couldn't do that. Right. I might post so many so amount of clothes, but then I'd be like, dang, I might be pulling up on, like say I pull up on you, and I'd be like, oh, you you ask for glasses. Get what I'm doing. I'm having it to to ask you like, you need any you need any shorts, you need any so and so and so. Right. And then guess what I got? You might say, yeah, let me check it out. So get what I gotta do. I gotta pull everything out. I might have the shorts way in the very back of the van. Right, right. I gotta go through that and pull everything out. You know what I'm saying? Then when I pull everything out, then guess what? You might buy, you might, might not. not. So right, now right. I 
I got a, a waste of time. Right, I got to right, pack right, all this right, stuff back in again. Right, 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 you know, right, so yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. A, it got its win win on both sides. Right, but right, it's right. like I said, it's according to where you want to. You see your vision and you see right, you right. moving ahead. You know, you want bigger and better because guess what? Everything in life is always is a challenge. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm just a challenge, but everything in life is always a risk. So that's just like if you can sell dope. You can sell clothes. It's just a different product. It's the same, same formula, shit. but same just shit. a different product. Same you know what I'm saying? Bro. So everything same with that, I'm just me putting these clothes. This, this my dope right here. Right, right, this, right. This, this, this what I, 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 I do my bread and butter. Ain't anything that I don't put together. Everything I work. When I say I work, work hard, sweat and tears. Like this, what this, what this, this what the definition is. Like right. ain't nothing been done with no dope money, no nothing. Nobody right, right. gave me. I, I work my ass off to get what God, you know what I'm saying, has put upon me. Because at the end of the day, you know, I never thought that I would never know what entrepreneur meant when I was nine years old. But you know how I really but you, started but you out that, with- you that now though. But go ahead, how you, you start, know, how you that, that now? I started out when I was in an apartment complex in in, uh, in North Chattanooga. Matter of fact, Girl Street. Girl Street Apartments. <laughs> I got a history of Bell. I ain't so, gonna say nothing about that. Ahead, yeah. So I'm up there. <laughs> <laughs> I know Girl Street is yeah. the little apartments, the yes. little, the little. On the hill, right there. Not I know. Yeah, I got so, history of Bell. So Go I'm, ahead, call, I'm going in. You know what I mean? And like I was, I got to a point one day that hit me. It was like, man, I can be. I'm knocking on people's doors. I said, man, I can make some money just knocking on people's doors and to asking how much they are, how much like how much trash they got. Can I take your trash to the dumpster? Okay. And not even knowing that I was had an entrepreneur spirit then, but how, I, started, how was you I was nine years old. Okay, right. So I went there and I'm knocking on these people's door. I'm knocking on the door. Hey, depending on how much garbage they had, that was I was charging them what, 50 cents to a dollar more. And guess what? That was my candy money. So then when I left from that from that neighborhood, we ended up coming out here to Glenwood. So I had a lady mm -hmm. by Miss Linda and uh, and Joe Green from the hood. He was he was the out of the hood mechanic. Right. You know he taught me the you know different mechanic skills. Uh, Miss Linda, you know what I'm saying, and other uh, other people that I, I was uh, always uh, taking in their groceries. I was cutting the grass. Right. I was uh, I was painting. I did a little bit of everything. So right. I didn't know that I was setting myself up for this for this point in time. Right. And so sometimes sometimes we we look at ourselves. We're like, man, dog, like. We really was 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 at the bottom, but everything that that we go through is everything is just a test, and everything is something to get you to that next level. Cause he ain't never tell you that it was gonna be easy. Yeah, hell you, no, you, of course, you yeah. have to right. you have to go through something. Right, you gonna right. have bumps in the road. Right. You gonna have hurdles. And just even like with, since I've been here, I ain't finna say it's been it's been pieces and cream, you know. But it's at the end of the day, somebody broke my store since I've been here. Broke my one down, but they didn't. They couldn't get in because of the, bars, the bars and shit. Yeah. But you re, you reached in and it showed. It, that's a, like I said, everything is is a trial and error. So it showed me. Guess what? When I leave, when we leave here for now, we take everything from the windows and the doors, push it to the side. Cause you know what, that, though? that's all he did was reach in and grab some pocketbooks. You know what though? And with the fact they broke in here, that goes to the promotion. It wouldn't break here if you had no shit that they wanted, bro. Yeah, that's true. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. They don't make it right, but the fact yeah. that, because there was some bullshit in here, man, from the break, man, he ain't got shit. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But the fact that motherfuckers try to break in here, it's some shit, in, it's some exclusive shit in here. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. That yeah. a motherfucker want to wear, bro. Yeah. You follow what I'm yeah. saying? So that, that says that. And as a matter of fact, with that being said, uh, my next question will be this, bro. Uh, now that the store's up and running, and then this is again for young entrepreneurs who coming up who want to get a store. Now he don't came from the streets to the store. Give us some pros and cons of having a store. Give us the ups and downs, you know what I'm saying? Like, once you got your store, and people don't know you, who, who don't know your business, when they riding by, he got a store, he got clothes, and I see people going in and out there, it look all good. Yeah. Give us the, the good side and the bad side of having your own store, bro. You just gave the bad side about motherfuckers trying to break in. Yeah. But give, give us a few examples of both, if you don't mind, man. The, the, the bad side automatically is, is everything is on you. Okay. Everything. Okay. That's bad. That that's you know why? Because at the end of the day, if something happened to something coming something happening in exclusive right now, guess what? It's, it ain't gonna be my work, my employees. It's right. gonna fall on Quan. Because right. I'm the owner of this. Right. I'm the I'm the head not uh hunch hunch over here. Right. So it's gonna fall on me. It's not gonna fall on the, the Tom Dick and Harry. It's yeah. not gonna yeah, right. so everything falls on the owner. So like everything is on you. Not on that, but guess what? If you fail, you fail your employees. 
Cause they depending on you. They paying bills for their family. So right. you got other right. households in your in your hand too. So it's not right. about you anymore. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. When I was out of the van, I ain't have to worry about nobody. Strictly you. Cause it was strictly me. Strictly you, yeah. So I ain't have to pay no payroll. Gotcha. I didn't have to. I ain't right. have to pay no 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 lights and water. Right. Right. I ain't had to pay no mortgage. Right. I ain't had to pay uh uh, uh ADT the the the, the security place. Right. I didn't have to uh put cameras around cameras up on nothing. You know what I mean? So I didn't have to I didn't have to do a whole bunch of things, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's like even with that being said, it's just like I didn't have to um I didn't have a good thing too, I didn't have I don't have to like again, keep push pulling everything in and out my out my vehicle. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's like that was a weight right. off my shoulder, you know what I mean? So they just like things of that nature. So Man, dude, it's it, it's it's a challenge. Appreciate it's got it's got it's got its ups and downs on no matter what you do. It's it's you know we all we got some good and we got some bad. You got some people want to see see you win and some people don't want to see you win. Some people just come in and just just to be nosy to see you like dang, you know. Cause I haven't had customers coming here like man, I ain't gonna tell I ain't gonna tell a lot. And this this more than what I thought it was gonna be mm -hmm. because you you was thinking small minded than me, but anything I do, man, with the help of God, man, I try to do it big and and just try to do my best. I'm not perfect, you know. So, but you gotta you gotta keep the naysayers out your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's number true, one. True, true story. Because true story. if you continue to allow somebody to keep coming to you and say, well, hey, man. So and so and so said this, and so and so and so think this, and I don't think you should do this, and I don't think you should do that. And you already don't fail because you already allowed them to, to get in your brain. So to you already furious, already one of the, the number one factors of, of people would not succeed in because we looking at things like man, I can't, man, I ain't, I ain't gonna be a dude. You were you worry about man? I'm thinking about failing. I, don't, I try not to think like that. I try to think positive, regardless when it, even when it look bad. I always think positive. Do not think negative. Think positive, regardless what's going on. And you'll never fail if you put God first. And guess what? Even if He allowed us, allow your store, your your business to fail, guess what? It's a whole a part of the plan. He got another door that's gonna come up bigger and better. But you gotta still run that course. Hey, let me ask you this. I don't know if y'all peeped that. You know, we got uh. We got people handing us exclusive drinks right here, the exclusive fashion. Y'all yeah. didn't peep that shit, did you, bro? Yeah, we doing it like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, now I'm finna give you a time to brag, bro. I asked you the good and the bad about having the store. You gave me the bad shit. Mm -hmm. Now, I need you to boast, bro. I need you to brag. Man, sh pop your shit. What's the good part about having this store? Let me say it before you answer. <laughs> Outside of the, if it was me, yeah, man, I got my own store, motherfucker. Come holler at me. I got my own shit, man. You feel me? Yeah, man. yeah this is my shit. Come here. You got all this. This is my shit. Yeah. You feel me? So that's how I'll be popping off. But yeah. like, what's the good side of having your own shit, bro? We gave the bad. Give them the good side, bro. The good good thing is, guess what? You ain't got to, you ain't got to, nobody can't tell you, tell you how to pop your shit. They yeah. can't tell you, like right now, say me, I'm, I'm working uh, uh, my job. I've been over 10 years. I've been working this job, but I'm doing it because I want to. You know what I'm saying? But imagine if they fall tomorrow. Because, see, we got so many people right now keep saying, man, it, it, and that's how we've been trained. We've been trained what they've been telling us. They've been telling us, like, man, you got to get you a guaranteed job, a right. guaranteed check. Right. Guess what? You can guarantee yourself, too, but it's all according to how you move right. and how you operate. Spit you know what I'm shit, saying? Pop so, shit. therefore, the same energy that I'm giving to somebody else, why the hell I can't give it to myself? Pop that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I believe in me. You got to believe in yourself first before anybody because you going, I don't give a damn what you got going on or what you what you say or whatever. It's always going to be somebody. I don't, it could be, it, and they family members. They come to you. They, they, they don't believe in you like you, like you, you know, thinking that you was going to be this, this, this big. That, it's right, plenty right. of people thought, they thought I was still going to be in the truck. Right, right, they right. They thought I was still going to be on that corner. Holding on the tent, trying to win the wind. Look at you now, though, You know bro. what I'm saying? So, look at you therefore, now. Look, look what God has manifested. Because yeah. I kept the course. You got to keep going. Right, right. Regardless of what it looked like, don't view off the, off the track. Sometimes you'll view off, but sometimes you, you got to push yourself back on. You Sometimes you got to motivate yourself. Yeah. You can't yeah, look yeah. for other people to motivate you because, get what, they don't see this vision that, that you got. You know what I mean? Right. So, the good thing is that I ain't got to answer to nobody. When it comes Salute. to this place, Salute. I'm the head my this. Salute. And I ain't trying to be brag. I ain't trying to be on no... Well, pop now, pop that shit, bro. Brag, pop that I'm shit. I'm the CEO yeah. of this motherfucker. 
Pop you know that what I'm shit, saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm Quan. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm that man when it comes to this. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, if I was to lose my job, my my employee right now, guess what? I got something to fall back on. Right. right. So you know how what it takes to be a millionaire. A millionaire, you have you need at least have seven seven different screens of income. Mm -hmm. And I ain't even gonna tell a lie. I'm, I hate that I see this not coming together as one because guess what? We so busy turning each other down as black men. As black right. black Speak entrepreneurs, let's on. work together as a team. And matter of fact, what I'm talking about that right now, this is what I want to I want to let let my people know. Say that. Go ahead. I don't know nobody else who's doing this. I ain't calling no names out to these stores because I ain't trying to get them no 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 uh no you know what they need. But why are we not allowing our own Blacks, and not just our own blacks, but our own people, and it can be white. I don't care. I don't. I'm not. I'm not racist. I love all. Why are we not doing our own home team when they are, they got a vision with a clothing line? If you think this vis this clothing line is 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 is, invis is, is a vis uh they have a vision just like what you would envision in your store. Why not allow them to put their clothes in your store? Y'all come together and, and get together and understand. Like, look. We gonna do this certain percentage or how we gonna do this, but you ain't gonna know till your ass close mouth. Close mouth don't get fed. Right. So I'm saying is, guess what? I'm opening up my doors right here at 2001 Exclusive. I mean, 2001 East Third Street at Exclusive Fashion ALC. I'm 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 opening my door to bring in other entrepreneurs that's just that want they clothing line uh, put in display in somebody's store. Cause get what? You might be out of the only, I thought, I'm gonna tell you what I did. Even with me being this, doing this before the store, you know what I was doing? I was having things put in different stores, glasses, belts and stuff. Y'all ain't know that it came from me, but I had stuff on consignment in stores at one point in time. Consignment, consignment, so that's my word. Yeah, I, I had stuff on consignment <laughs> at one point in time. Yeah. So when I had my stuff on consignment at one time, one point in time, guess what? Say for instance, you gotta be in you you got you got a trip going on. You right. you in you in uh, LA somewhere. Guess what? You still liable to be able to make some money, come home to three four hundred dollars because guess what? This money been made over here at this store because you got it on the sign. You only know you you only know you spending with you me. You don't know yeah, you only know you spending with me. Right, and right. not on that, but then not on that, not spending with me. But you still got an opportunity to make money, just like how if you was on the internet. Right. When you sleep, you waking up to a check in the mail. Exactly. So even with me, being that said, I got my my website will be coming soon. I'll let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, very soon how it's going. But I'm working on the logistics on the back end right now because I want to be able to share the exclusive experience all over the world. I I, I prophesy this that exclusive gonna be known all over the world, which it already been going some places, Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my family and friends out that way. That's it's my been second in, home uh, right there. It's in Birmingham. I didn't even had a guy come to me say, "Man, I seen somebody at the airport in uh, in Miami with your with your gear on." Like it's 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 going around. It's slow to show but guess what? I'm gonna be a household name. So think about all this stuff right here. All these names we we buying Gucci, Prada, uh, uh, Louis Vuitton, all this stuff. We wearing somebody else's last name. So what? Why you can't? It, you put your money to their stuff. Why you can't put this stuff into your home team? You Sweet know what I mean. Shit. Pop so that shit. my thing that is, shit. at the end of the day, <laughs> if you feel shit. yo, you got you got some top notch shit. Come holler at me. I'm again. I'm Quan. Call me 423-902-7597. And guess what? We'll set up a meeting and we'll sit down and see how can we we come to a mutual agreement to take this thing to another level to help you and help myself. So. uh my last question before we get into this next thing I got to talk to you about. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, for the people that's watching, bro, like, everything you laid out, which has been some game and all that shit, what's, what's next for exclusive fashion, man? You know, like, what can we expect next, man? You got new clothes coming in, are you trying to expand or, you know, other stores? Just just, just what's next, bro? You feel me? What, what's, what's, what the future hold for exclusive fashion? Well, my, my vision is, what, what I'm holding is, I'm looking at to being known Worldwide, right. I want to not only just be in Chattanooga. I'm, I'm, my, if Lord will, I'm planning on opening up another store in a whole another city. I got okay. a couple cities I'm okay. looking at now that I'm thinking about. That's what I'm you asking. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sometimes you gotta understand it ain't. Don't look at your pockets. Don't look at your bank account. Don't look at none of that. Trust God, and guess what? He gonna open up some door for you that you ain't even never gonna. He ain't gonna understand. Right. He be right. like, man, he he blew my mind. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what I'm looking at. I want I want 
exclusively worldwide known. I'm looking into, like I said again, uh, the website. Hopefully I'll be able to, to launch this to you guys very soon where you not only just buy the merchandise in my store, you'll actually be able to actually uh, be able to get um, drop shipment on exclusive wear. Okay. So if, okay. you, if okay. you got okay. a, a warm-up suit or I, I, I put a uh, shirt up or whatever, whatever I put up, you're going to be able to order it online. I don't even have to touch it. It's gonna be shipped from the manufacturer to, to your you. doorstep. Right, right. right. You know, okay. so yes. I'm gonna do three ways of of this uh, on online thing from what's in the store. I want three three ways. You pay online. I can send it to you to you through mail. You can pay online. You can come pick it up at the store. Or you can pay online and I bring it to your front door. But guess what? It's a price with that front door thing because it's called convenience. <laughs> gosh, gosh. You know, so that's, that's the, you got to start, as you're an entrepreneur, you start, your mindset, you start thinking of things, you know, different that's going right. to take you outside and take you a part of right. what other people are doing because I don't see the other stores that say, oh, yeah, we bring it to your doorstep. They ain't doing that. Right, right, you got to right. come to it. So that being said, I'm trying to bring something, like, again, exclusive to your doorstep. Again, y'all, that's exclusive fashions. 2001 East 3rd Street, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Make sure y'all pull by here and show what's going on and see what's going on. Now, before we get out here, man, oh. I got to do something with you <laughs> called the Pick One Challenge. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this is how we're going to do this, uh, Quan. I seen it. Look, I seen it. Look, I picked up his little notes. He didn't want me to see it, so I, I'm, I'm kind of a little. Hey, y'all, listen. I ain't want him to see it. Hey, you, you, you need another shot? Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm, I'm, okay, yeah. I'm, 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 I ain't I'm want him to see it because I want I this. I want to be a natural. I want, I'm, I'm, finna, I'm finna ask him some shit. I want to be natural answer. I want, I'm going to pick his brain. You feel me? Uh, so, listen. So, this pick one challenge, right? This is how we do. I named two things, yeah. and I want you to pick one. All right. Whatever your favorite one is. You feel me? Let me hide this so you can't see my shit. <laughs> you dig? So, start off, pick one challenge, y'all, with corn owner of uh, Exclusive Fashions, 2001 East 3rd Street. Pick one challenge. First thing, Hamilton Place or Eastgate? Man, Eastgate, that's back in the day. Eastgate? I love, I love Eastgate. That was the jump. Chat Smokehouse or Mimos? Mimos. Now, I know you didn't go to neither one of these schools, but I need you to pick one. Brandon or Howard? Brandon. Why? I went to Brandon Middle School. A lot of people. But you didn't go to Brandon High School, though. No, I didn't, but they still, I still connect with them, them cats to this day. So, uh, like, I ain't going to tell them a lie. I have a ball when they at their reunion. So, I'm just going to keep, keep 100, even though I had a lot of family at Howard, but. I still connect with the brain. He picked brain over Howard. I hope it don't affect his sales right there, y'all. He picked brain over Howard, though. You feel me? All right, check this he out. You must be a cat. No, <laughs> no I'm, I'm not. I'm not, bro. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I went to city. I you feel I, me? I know. So I, know. I, ain't got no, I ain't got no dog in this fight yeah, either. You I feel know. me? I was going to say that, look. <laughs> so just check this out. The Tuba store or M&J? Hmm. Tuba. Tuba? Okay. HPGs or Mystic Click? Man, man. I gotta say both of them. I can't even knock them. You gotta get both. I, got, I love both. You got both. both. I ain't even... All right. The Bay or the whole note? Man, that whole note, boy. That was. I love. I gotta say both, but the number one whole note. Whole, whole note. note. He picked the whole note. Whole note. Is true. We on swole. Don't y'all forget about D Scott. He finna do his thing for his birthday, man. Hey, right. Hey, man. We finna do this reunion. It's finna be the bomb. So he picked the whole note over the bay. Whole, whole note. Whole note. Right. Whole note. All right. Little baby, a Kodak black. I like both, so I don't know. <laughs> I, say, I say uh, Lil Baby. Lil Baby. The strut or hang time? God, oh, that, I, I miss the hang time. Hang time. I miss the hang time. The hang time. Hang time's on Thursday, yeah, right here, bro. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Look, listen to this. Mary's or the cigar club? I say, I say, cigar, cigar club, cigar, cigar club, cigar club. Megan the Stallion, a lotto. Hmm. Megan, Megan, all right, I'm Megan, all right. Look him or Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, <laughs> for real? Yeah. Damn. Okay. All right. Look, Kim, I did too much. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't even know her from the whole day. Man, you crazy, bro. Let's be honest. <laughs> All right. Roy Jones or Floyd Mayweather? And Roy Jones. I, I, I get that. Cash money or no limit? No limit. Really? All right. All right. Okay, soul food. Hermans or Havens? And I can't, I, I fuck both of them. I can't, I gotta, I gotta stay in between. I know I can't, I can't knock both of them. I love both, but anyway. <laughs> Last one. You gotta pick one of these. You can't say both. You gotta pick one on this one. <laughs> Last one. Old Plantation or Sunset? Old Plantation. Old Plantation? Yeah. That's how I don't eat, I don't eat that the most. I just, that's uh, why I can say again. You got to think about it. I, I was in that neighborhood. I you went know, right. to school, the hard elementary, all that stuff. So, yeah, so that's right. why all I right. eat the most. All right, all right. That was up. Yeah. Hey, well, man, listen. That's another edition of Pimp Hall TV Podcast. I got to thank my dog, man, Quan, man. man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, bro. Me, man. Owner of Exclusive Fashions, yes, 2001 East 3rd Street. Again, yeah. y'all, we supporting black businesses. You know what I'm saying? We supporting urban clothing. Pull up down here. Exclusive fashions, 2001 East 3rd Street. Pull up down here, they got everything you need, male or female, they got what you need. If you're a local uh, entrepreneur or you're a local up and coming business person, you wanna promote your shit, come down here and hang your posters up, hang your flyers up, yeah. leave your business cards right at the register. You follow yeah. what I'm saying? Everything is it's all love down here. Exclusive fashions, 2001 East 3rd Street. This is your homeboy, Mile the Pimp, AKA MCP. And this is another edition of Pimp Hall TV Podcast. And as you always know, Go to my website, www.modelpimp.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Model Pimp. And make sure you go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, Pimp Hollow TV. And we out here. Much love. Peace. Yeah.